I think there is a responsibility when you're so visible. We talk about the injustices that the black communities faced throughout the history of our country. I do think there's a responsibility as, as visible as the NFL is and as influential as it is in our society and culture. Uh, I, I think the NFL could play a tremendous role in speaking to the injustices uh, that the black community faces. Over the past year, you know, obviously the COVID pandemic and the Black Lives Matter revival of sort, you see the response. And I think it's just that it's a response. It's not something where the NFL is taking charge and, and really leading the way and exemplifying the type of work that, uh, you know, other significant institutions in our culture uh, can follow. I think it's been more reactive as opposed to proactive. And even when you look at uh, you know, the messaging from the NFL players last year, I think it was July, a bunch of prominent black players in the NFL uh, essentially spoke out. And my understanding is that that wasn't a top down coordinated message. That was a message from the players. If you were to take a look at the NFL fan base, I would imagine it's, it's fairly representative of the population of our country. It's, it's the largest sport, uh, most popular sport in the country. And so I think there's there's a balance, right, that the owners uh, feel they have to, you know, kind of strike between alienating or potentially alienating a large portion of their customers, uh, the people who support the teams and fill the seats and, uh, you know, whose money is important in the business of entertainment, sports entertainment, and doing the right thing.